Cliff is another one of those classic rides that I absolutely love and I have to do every time I come. It's just, I don't know, it's, it's one of those sort of educational yet interesting um, rides. It is a continuous ride that loops all the way around up inside and then you come out into the top and you go all the way down. The legs actually go all the way into the structure and there's an inner structure that holds it up. It's not actually holding up the outside. There are 11,324 triangles on the sphere and it's what's called a geospheric, geo, I can't say, it. sphere. I'll put it in the... Um, and the ride just basically takes you through the history of, the commu of communication and it's just the smells and the quotes and everything and I think because um, Epcot was really new when I first um, came here. It's one of the rides that I really remember. I mean, it's an iconic ride, so um, yeah, I just love it because it is like an Epcot icon and it's just, to me, sums up exactly what Epcot means, what it was aiming to do. So let's go ride. Now it's actually one of the, well one of the, it um, obviously was here when the park opened um, and it's relatively unchanged. I don't think it's 20 minutes. So the ride is um, normally sponsored by a communications company. So at the moment it's sponsored by Siemens. But you kind of enter up this ramp here, past a mural that represents the development of communication, like the ride, what the ride is about. Oh dear. years to come up with 
the next bright idea, recording our knowledge on cave walls. There was only one small problem. When we moved, the recorded knowledge stayed behind. Now let's move ahead to ancient Egypt, because something is about to happen here that will change the future forever. in turn creates better record keeping of plans, designs, and unfortunately taxes. But it also brings with it the dawn of great civilizations. has its own form of writing, which none of the others can understand. But the Phoenicians, who trade with all of them, have a solution. They create a simple common alphabet, adaptable to most languages. Remember how easy it was to learn your ABCs? Thank the Phoenicians. They invented them. The ancient Greeks were great inventors of the future. First, they established public schools, and then began teaching an intriguing new subject called mathematics. And with math comes mechanical technology and the birth of the high-tech life we enjoy today. With lessons learned from the Greeks, the Romans created powerful empires. To move their armies around, they built a system of roads all over the known world. Rome built the first World Wide Web, and it's leading us into the future. But then we hit a roadblock. Rome falls, and the great library of Alexandria in Egypt is burned. Much of our learning is destroyed, lost forever. Or so we think. There are copies of some of these books in the libraries of the Middle East, being watched over by Arab and Jewish scholars. Call it the first backup system. The books are saved, and with them are dreams of the future. In the meantime, here in Europe, monks toil endlessly recording books by hand. the movable type printing press. Now knowledge can travel as fast as these new books, and travel they do. Books make it easier to invent the future in every field, and the result is an incredible explosion of innovation we call the Renaissance.
communicating from anywhere on Earth. And in 1969, from somewhere else. To send a man to the moon, we had to invent a new language, spoken not by man, but by computers. At first, very large, very expensive computers, but we see the potential. Return to Earth. In preparation for your return to Earth, your time machine is now rotating back. For the first time in history, all of us can have a say about the kind of world we want to live in. The choices we have made for the past 30,000 years have been inventing the future one day at a time. And now, it's your turn. Let's have some fun creating the future, shall we? On your computer screen, answer a few questions for us. Then we'll show you a new world, custom made just for you. Your vehicle will begin moving immediately. <laughs> Remain seated, please. Our travels are resuming now. And now I believe your future is just about ready. Let's take a look, shall we? Welcome to the future. Or should I say, 